What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another tutorial and this is on how to port forward. Now that's pretty much it, port forwarding, very very simple, it's going to be a really really quick tutorial on how to do it. Not everyone knows how to do it and if you want to maybe open a port that you need open for a Minecraft server or maybe your laptop needs to have a certain port open for whatever reason then this tutorial is for you, it's very simple, I've covered it in other videos so if you've watched any of my PC tutorials, some of them tutorials covers port forwarding and and how I do it but I just thought I'd make a separate tutorial on how to actually do it so then you can revert back to this video and it's literally just on how to pull forward instead of going by another video that has it halfway through the video if that makes sense so all you want to do is run command prompt as administrator so for me I'm just gonna go here but you can just type it in very very simple type in IP config all one word and hit enter now what this would do it will bring up a list of network adapters attached to your PC or laptop and information that we need so as you can see the IPv4 address of my wireless LAN adapter because I'm wireless as you can see is 0.7 so each device on your network will have an assigned IP address so my PC that I'm currently on is 0.7 my laptop might be 0.9 and my phone might be 0.12 just an example here so what we're looking for is the IPv4 address so that we can open the port for this machine so 0.7 is this PC so I want to open say the Minecraft port on this PC if you was on a laptop then you'd go by obviously that IPv4 address so if you want to open a port from a different computer you can also do that as long as you know this IPv4 address. The other thing we want to look for is default gateway this will be different for you guys depending on where you are and which router you have. Mine ends in 0.1 but it could start with 10 I've seen some Australian routers start with 10 so uh, just make sure that you get your default gateway address and all you want to do is just copy it. Once you've copied it open a web browser of your choice I'm going to use Google Chrome and simply paste it in the URL bar. Now I am using Virgin Media and I have the router that is called the Superhub. It's basically a Netgear router that's modified um, and other routers may vary. But all you want to do is look for your password. This can be on the back of your router or it could have been changed. So maybe ask your parents if you're a young one and you're living with your parents. Ask them. They may know the router password. But if you already know it, good. Just type it in. And once you've done that, you want to look for the advanced settings. Now every router is different, but usually it's in the advanced settings and you want to look for obviously port forwarding it's usually under security or maybe wireless or something like that but port forwarding it's going to be the same no matter what now for this example I'm just going to use the Minecraft server port so for the name I'm just going to type in Minecraft but obviously you can put this to whatever you want now I know from memory that the Minecraft port is 25565 so that will be the start port and the end port as well. So you want to make sure that the port is exactly the same in each box and make sure that it's accurate and make sure that whatever port that you're forwarding is the correct port and you know what it's for. For the protocol, I always leave it as TCP and UDP because if I don't know if it's TCP or UDP, then I just choose both. So then I know that it will definitely work. Now for the IP address, you may have a drop down box that allows you to see all the connected devices. But for me, I have to manually type in the IP address. So if we go back to the command, prompt window you can see this here the IPv4 address which is your local IP address to this machine is 0.7 so what I do is type in 7 and hit add rule. On my router I can open as many ports as I like for other routers it may vary so once you've got that down here and you're happy with it go ahead and click apply then yes and then you can sign out and enjoy your Minecraft server or whatever your port forwarding. I apologize for the lack of videos I'll try and do my best to bring lots of tutorials and some other videos out in the future. I currently do not have my JTAG right now as it's broken and I'm going to be sending it off to get fixed. So hopefully when I get that back, I can make some more tutorials and some cool videos for you guys. So comment, rate, subscribe and all the good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.